all the way up and hit some slabs right before you get to the first overlook. A special kind of welcome party at the Welch Dickey Trailhead. As you cut up here, we call this the point of no return. These are trail stewards, volunteers with the National Forest Service, tasked with educating hikers about how to protect the trails and themselves. I mean, it's important to give people the safety information they need, especially if they're not used to hiking. This trail has a lot of slick rocks at the top. After all the rain we've had this summer, trails all around New Hampshire are pretty slick. So Fish and Game are encouraging everyone who's heading out onto the trails to leave the sneakers at home and wear boots out on the trail. So sneakers just don't provide ankle support or traction uh, in muddy, slippery conditions. So, you know, a good pair of sturdy hiking boots uh, provide that. Lieutenant James Nealon says the majority of people rescued this summer haven't been wearing hiking boots, and they're often missing other basic equipment, too. Not bringing rain gear with them, um, not having maps and uh, light source. Beautiful days like this have been rare this summer, and Lieutenant Nealon says it's good to see people getting a chance to head out into the mountains. But he says it's important to have all the required gear and let someone know exactly where you're going and when you're planning to head home. Too many times I get a call like my loved one went hiking in New Hampshire. That's really not helpful. We need kind of a trail, a trailhead, and that kind of thing. In Thornton, Ross Ketchke, WMUR News 9.